We are now ready to use a 3 by 3 determinant to calculate a cross product. Now, we have that first formula that came from using the definition of perpendicular vectors, solving a system of equations, picking values that made it work. But if you don't memorize that formula or have it tattooed on your forearm, it's hard to use. So instead, there's a nifty way to come up with that formula very quickly with very little memorization. So that's excellent, right? So to do that, we're going to use a 3 by 3 determinant. If we're looking at the cross product u cross v, and we assume u has components u1, u2, u3, and v has components v1, v2, v3, then we're going to copy those components into the determinant. So we're, we're taking the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. The first row will be the standard unit vectors, i, j, k. The second row will be every component from the u vector, u1, u2, u3. And the third row will be every component from the v vector, v1, v2, v3. Now we're going to expand along the top row. So we'll take the first element, cross out everything below and horizontal. That leaves us with a 2 by 2 matrix, which I have copied over here, multiplied to the element from that top row, i hat. Then we're going to repeat that process for j hat using a minus so that we're alternating signs. We have our j hat over here, and then u1, v1, u3, v3, filling that in. And then lastly, for the third element in that first row, k hat, copying over the determinant using the terms that are left behind. So anytime we want to calculate the cross product between two vectors, we're going to create this 3 by 3 matrix. And then we'll expand along the top row, calculate each of these 2 by 2 determinants, and we'll see that this comes out to be that same formula from the beginning of this section. So let's go ahead and calculate that so we can trust it. Multiplying u2 times v3, u2 times v, I'm oh, sorry, u3 times v2, and then copying our minus over multiplying u1 v3, multiplying u3 v1, copying our j hat plus multiplying u1 v2, and multiplying u2 v1. So that's the same formula we got from solving that system of equations. This 3 by 3 matrix that we're using is going to help us get to that formula without having to memorize it, so that's wonderful. Let's practice using it. If u is the vector negative 1, 2, 5, and v is the vector 4, 0, negative 3, and we're asked to calculate u cross v, then we're going to start by creating that 3 by 3 matrix. So i hat goes in the first a row, first element, then j hat, then k hat, and then we're going to fill in the elements from u. And then in the last row, fill in the elements from v. Now we're going to expand along the top row and create our matrices. So if I think about i and, and ignore everything below and diagonal, I'm sorry, horizontal to it, then we create the matrix that it has 2, 0, 5, negative 3, and that's multiplied by i hat. Alternate signs, so we're going to have a minus for this next matrix. Think about j, ignore everything below and horizontal to it. Copy down our j hat, and then plus. Think about k, ignore everything below and horizontal. We get the matrix using the remaining terms. Really easy to make a mistake setting up the 3 by 3 matrix or expanding along the top row. These are tiny calculations that aren't difficult, but 
because there's so many small calculations, our brain can get fatigued and we can write things down incorrectly, backwards, or anything like that. So take your time on this. Eventually, once you understand how to do this well enough, you'll use a calculator to do this anyways. Yeah, calculators will do this for you. All right, now we need to evaluate each of these two by two matrices. So I'll multiply my first diagonal, I get negative six. My second diagonal, I get zero. Then I move on to my next two by two matrix, multiply my first diagonal, I get positive three minus my second diagonal, gives me minus 20 there. And then my third two by two matrix, first diagonal has a product of zero minus the second diagonal, gives me a product of eight. And we're almost done here. We get negative six i hat. We have three minus 20. That's the same thing as negative 17. But negative 17 with another minus becomes positive 17. And then lastly, we have a negative eight in the k component. And we can leave this written using standard unit vectors or an especially sense the original problem was written in component form. Let's go ahead and switch it back. So negative 6i means 6 goes in the x component. 17j says 17 goes here. And then negative 8k says negative 8 goes in the last component. And that would be our cross product. Let's try another one. We're going to calculate the cross product. And we're going to calculate the reverse cross product as well, so technically we're doing two. And I want to take a second to do this problem because the vectors are written in standard unit vector form. But that doesn't change the process that we're going to use. We'll start by setting up our 3x3 three three matrix, i hat, j hat, k hat. They all go in the first row every single time, doesn't matter what the vectors look like. Now I'm going to plug in the vector u. Those components will go right underneath i, j, and k. So I have two from the i hat in u, one from the j hat in u, and one from the k hat in u. And now I'm going to put the components from v in the very last row. I have a negative four from the i vector, three from the j vector, one from the k vector. The matrix is complete. Now we're going to take the determinant of that by expanding along the top row. We took our time on the last one. I'm going to show you that we can do this a little faster on this one. And I'm going to try and use some color to help highlight it. So for the I component, we'll cross off the underneath and the horizontal. That's going to leave me this 2 by 2 matrix, which I'm going to go ahead and multiply that 2 by 2 out. I have 1 times 1 on the first diagonal minus 1 times 3 on the second diagonal. So that's my i hat component. Now I'm going to move on to my j hat component. I'm going to ignore everything below and horizontal. And I know it's going to have a minus sign in front of it for that alternating sign. And I'm going to multiply my 2 by 2 matrix right inside of this 3 by 3. So 2 times 1, my first diagonal, minus 1 times negative 4. So I'm actually minusing a negative 4 or adding 4. And that's my j hat component. And next we're going to move on to our k hat. So I'll ignore everything below it and everything horizontal to it. And I have the 2 by 2 matrix right here. I'll multiply that out right inside of it. So 2 times 3 for the six di uh, two times three for the first diagonal to have a 6, minus 1 times negative 4 on the second diagonal. Again, that's the same thing as adding 4. And then copy down k hat. And now we can simplify each one of these coefficients on our vectors. So I get negative 2 i hat minus 6 j hat plus 10 k hat. So I wanted to show you this way because it gets a little discouraging when you see the really long drawn out calculations, but 
With time and practice, you'll start to be able to do a lot of this small calculations in your head. Now, caution, when you get tired and you try to do these in your head, you will make mistakes and you won't know where the mistake was because you didn't write anything down. So either never do math when you're tired, that's probably not an option, or write out your work if you do think that you're making small mistakes so that you can catch them.